This k and air intake system is designed to increase power and acceleration by reducing restriction in the intake path. The 69-3530TS fits 2011 Ford Fiesta models with 1.6 liter engines. The 69-3530TS air intake is not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check knfilters.com for an up-to-date list of models this air intake fits and for a list of other carb adoption states. k and power testing showed an estimated power gain of 3.7 horsepower at 4,518 RPM with the 69-3530TS air intake installed on a 2011 Ford Fiesta with a 1.6 liter engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, and other variables. With the air intake installed, we ran the vehicle on the dyno to test the sound comparison versus the stock intake. The intake system includes components that have been designed or matched to the needs of these vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Detailed installation instructions are included with this kit. The tools needed for this install are shown. Turn off the ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Release the red locking tab, then disconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Disconnect the EVAP vent line from the factory intake tube. Loosen the two hose clamps that secure the factory intake tube, then remove the intake tube from the vehicle. Release the locking collar for the crankcase vent hose to the airbox connection by pulling it back so the crankcase vent hose can be disconnected from the airbox. Disconnect the crankcase vent hose from the valve cover and remove it from the vehicle. Disconnect the fresh air intake scoop from the core support. Lift up the airbox assembly to dislodge it from the mounting grommets, then remove it from the vehicle. Remove the airbox mounting bracket bolt. Install the provided 30 mm long Allen bolt and washer into the airbox mounting bracket hole. Install the heat shield mounting bracket onto the bottom of the bolt installed in the previous step along with the spacer provided. Install the provided grommet into the bottom of the heat shield. Install the two provided heat shield mounting studs to the bottom of the heat shield using the provided hardware. Cut the provided edge trim into three sections, one seven inches long, one 10 inches long, and one 27 inches long. Install the 10 inch section of the edge trim into the hole of the heat shield. Install the 27 inch section of the edge trim around the outside of the heat shield. Install the seven inch section of edge trim onto the fresh air intake scoop. Attach the fresh air scoop to the heat shield using the provided hardware. Install the heat shield assembly onto the vehicle so that the mounting studs are inserted into the factory mounting grommets. Then secure to the mounting bracket installed during step 10 with the provided hardware. Install the provided silicone hose onto the throttle body and secure with the provided hose clamp. Measure back four and a half inches from the end of the crankcase vent tube, then cut the tube. Install the provided half-inch silicone vent hose onto the cut vent tube. Reinstall the crankcase vent hose assembly onto the valve cover and route the silicone hose through the grommet in the bottom of the heat shield. Disconnect the fresh air scoop from the air box. Install the fresh air scoop into the scoop attached to the heat shield. Then reattach it to the factory connection on the core support. Remove the two bolts securing the mass air sensor to the factory air box. Then remove the mass air sensor from the air box. Install the mass air sensor into the K&N intake tube and secure it with the provided hardware. Install the provided 3 8 inch NPT vent fitting into the K&N intake tube. Pass the K&N intake tube through the heat shield and rotate it so the remaining half inch NPT vent fitting can be installed. Install the K&N intake tube into the silicone hose at the throttle body and secure it with the provided hose clamp. Attach the crankcase vent hose to the installed NPT vent fitting. Install the EVAP vent hose to the NPT vent fitting. 
reconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Install the K&N air filter and secure it with the provided hose clamp. Reconnect the vehicle's negative battery cable. It will be necessary for all K&N high flow air intake systems to be checked periodically for realignment, clearance, and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. K&N makes products for nearly every vehicle on the road. The K&N website allows you to search products by vehicle or dimension, download installation instructions, view dyno charts showing estimated horsepower gains for this product, and view product details. For information on where to buy K&N products, go to knfilters.com.